What's good Raider Nation? It's your boy Sanji and today I have a special video for you guys. This video is going to be much different than some of my other videos. I want to just go through a bunch of plays in which Trent Brown just dominated. And I want to show you guys some positive plays from Trent Brown. You know, he is one of the best offense tackles in the NFL. And I'm super excited to just go over a bunch of his films. There's not going to be any sort of flow. I'm going to just show you guys uh, as I go through the film and just break it down with you guys. When the Oakland Raiders go up, up against great defensive linemen like Chris Jones, we expect our highly paid offensive linemen to handle those players. On the first play of the game, Trent Brown made a statement. You're going to see him lined up right here going up against Chris Jones, who's lined up right here. And you're going to see this down block by Trent Brown. And I'm letting you guys know right now, it's a nasty block by Trent Brown. Trent Brown down blocks on this running play, and we pick up seven yards. Brown has a great block. Now, it was a double team, but Brown was the main person that impacted this block. Now, check this out again. I'm going to rewind it here for you guys in just a second. Uh, but first, I want you guys to watch uh, Trent Brown, you know, let him know that this is his house. Again, love Trent Brown, love the attitude and love the nastiness from him. Uh, you guys can watch it again. You're going to see Trent Brown right here. It's the big guy uh, playing right tackle. Again, great block. Way to get Chris Jones on the ground. I mean, Chris Jones did not expect that. And I think it's very important to understand that. Chris Jones is one of the best defensive players. I guarantee he did not expect Trent Brown to come hit him and put his ass to the ground the way he did. And that's a great block. And this is not something that only happened once. I want to go over a number of different plays in which Trent Brown just dominated. So with that, let's just get right into it. All right, guys, here's another play in which the run is going to be to the right of the screen. Trent Brown is going to block Chris Jones once again. Now, this wasn't really an effective block because Trent Brown is going to push Chris Jones right towards the play. The play only gained the yard. Uh, number 53 here blows it up. It's a nice concept. It's a power blocking uh, type of concept from the offensive lineman. But you see that Trent Brown is going to just help destroy Chris Jones. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's crazy to me to kind of see these plays and then uh, watch someone like Chris Jones just get thrown around and dominated the way he is you know that typically does not happen to a uh, defensive player of his caliber most of the time he's going to be at least able to hold his own and get pushed at most half a yard but in this case trent brown throws him five yards great block by trent brown some of the stuff that i really like about brown's game is he's physical he's nasty he knows how to get right after it and there's a lot that he can do for the Raiders especially moving forward he's going to be such a huge impact for us in the run game here's another play in which the Oakland Raiders are going to run towards the right of the screen understand that it's not always about laying people out a lot of these blocks especially in the zone is you just need to cut people off so Trent Brown needs to cut off number 50 Trent Brown has to take an angle which is going to follow this way here and he needs to cut off number 50 and he does a pretty decent job now he doesn't get 50 to the ground but it's not a bad block so this is a zone stretch play and brown does a good enough job to get in front of number 50 as you see right there and slow him down just enough for josh jacobs to get to the outside and pick up about five yards so again it's a pretty nice block you know if uh, alec ingold had a little bit better of a block as you guys see out here if he's able to hook 53 or even if Hudson's able to pick up 53 with Trent Brown's block alone to slow down number 50, Josh Jacobs could have gotten many, many more yards. But it's still a nice five-yard gain. Again, it's not always about laying people out. You know, the first two plays were, were primarily just Trent Brown dominating. But again, it's not always about just dominating. You know, you have to make your blocks. You have to be effective in your blocks. You have to cut people off, especially in zone, which was one of the, the main reasons why... At first, I was kind of hesitant with the Trent Brown signing. You know, we're a zone run, running team, and Trent Block Brown is more of a power block type of guy. But we've definitely implemented a lot of power blocking schemes this year in our system as well. Again, one of the things I mentioned in the last play is it's not always about just laying people out, right? One of the most important things that Brown has to do is he needs to keep Derek Carr clean. So as you guys are going to see him right here, he's going to take on this defensive end. Uh, I think that's Alan Bailey. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But he's going to do a good job just taking him head on 
and just keeping car clean i mean if you guys think about this as you guys are going to see the play one of the things that happened last year was brandon parkland was just getting destroyed trent brown does a great job to lay his initial punch and move number 97 and then just stay with him and just keep on him and not let him get to Derek Carr. Now, this was an incomplete pass. Uh, of course, as you guys see, Ryan Grant kind of falls, but it's still a really nice play by Trent Brown to get his punch on number 97, stay with it, and then just get you know his second hand on him as well. I mean, there was no way 97 was going to win this block. Great job by Trent Brown. This is the kind of stuff that I really, really like when I watch his film. All right, guys, I want to show you guys this running play. This is going to be a zone stretch towards the right so one of the things a defense has to do to stop a zone play a zone blocking play is they need to in, in this instance this defenseman needs to come upfield and set the edge as hard as he possibly can you guys are going to see what trent brown does to this poor guy in a in, in a perfect world this guy would step right here stop trent brown and the running back would have to start cutting backwards but that's not what happens, right? Because Trent Brown's not a normal offensive lineman. You're going to see Trent Brown take this defensive end. And keep in mind, look how close this DN is to these hash marks. And you're going to see where this defensive end ends up. This is one of the best blocks I've seen from Trent Brown. I mean, look at how he's going to just push this defensive end and just push and push and push. And that's a great job by Brown. And this play picks up 12 yards. Now, Brown does a good job, and that's important. His block is very, very important because a part of the zone stretch is you got to get guys moving. You have to get bodies moving. If this guy were to take an inside step, Brown hooks him, and then Jacobs goes to the outside. But the fact that Brown's able to get him so far out, it widens the gap for Josh Jacobs to run through. And in my opinion, that's a great block right there by Trent Brown. All right, guys, here's another play where Trent Brown is going to swap with Denzel Good. Brown's going to pass this defensive end off and pick up Chris Jones. Again, Chris Jones is one of the best defensive linemen. Trent Brown is one of the best offensive tackles. And what do you expect? You know, Brown does a good job uh, switching between the two guys. And, you know, I, I feel bad. I really do. You know, this is just power on power. Trent Brown against Chris Jones. And we know who's going to win. Chris Jones is not going to get through Trent Brown. Yeah, he started leaning a little bit, and then Trent Brown just gave it to him and put him down real quick. Uh, a great, great block by Trent Brown, uh, especially the swap. I really, really like that swap, and I love the fact Trent Brown gives it to him at the end. And then Waller, of course, makes a nice uh, couple of moves. Yeah, not a first down. It's third and 17. We pick up 12. Uh, but still, it's a nice block by Trent Brown. Uh, I like the fact that Trent Brown helps keep Derek Carr clean. You know, Derek Carr is going to throw the ball, look down, and see that Chris Jones is on the floor. One of the best defensive linemen is on the floor by his feet. And then he's going to look over and realize that, yeah, that's his offensive tackle that just did that to Chris Jones. You know, so far, there's probably been about eight plays in which I've skipped. And I decided not to record uh, because this is the outcome right here. Trent Brown versus defensive end. Uh, literally, this is the outcome of at least eight plays and i decided not to show them to you guys because uh, you know a lot of you guys should look at it like well this is boring right he's doing this every single play so i'm just trying to show you guys the more fascinating plays but this is typical right trent brown gets his hands on on this dn and just pretty much locks him up and just dominates him the guy has no shot i just don't want to show you guys every single one of these plays because the truth is there's a lot of these types of plays but let's move on i want to find some more uh, entertaining plays for you guys all right, you guys, here's the 51-yard run by Josh Jacobs. You're going to see Trent Brown does a great job picking up and forcing this defensive end to go outside. The DN doesn't do a horrible job. Uh, Trent Brown just is able to get him, move him just a little bit. And Josh Jacobs actually does a really nice job in this play. He does a great job hitting the hole. And honestly, it's just really nice blocking from uh, Hudson to Debbie to uh, Colton to, to basically everyone. It's a really, really nice block. And of course, Josh Jacobs, he's a special back. You know, I, I know a lot of people don't see it yet, but he's definitely a special back. Uh, I want to show it to you guys from the all 22. You guys can kind of see the blocking. Uh, and I want to show you guys a couple of good blocks, in my opinion. You know, uh, news has hit that Jonathan Cooper was cut, I believe, yesterday because Rich Incognito's been brought back. And 
there's a reason why uh, Jordan Devi was not the guy that was cut. To be honest with you guys, I can see Devi actually end up starting on the right side. I can see Good getting kicked out, uh, kicked to the backup role. Uh, watch Devi here. Devi makes the most important block in this zone run. Uh, Colton does as well too. You're going to see Colton uh, get up and at least cut his guy off. But look at Devi go run and then boom he gets right underneath that guy gets his arm in front to cut him now without that block right there this play does not go where it goes now of course you know josh jacobs has to uh, give give this guy a one two give him a little slap stiff arm to the head um, you know early on there was a play in which uh, it was third down it was the first drive of the game chris jones blew it up it was a similar play to this in which colton miller had to get in front of uh, Chris Jones. I don't think this is Chris Jones, but uh, it's a similar play. I, I should show it to you guys, but uh, I'll actually show it to you guys. I'll show it to you guys right after this play. But basically, uh, Colton Miller needs to cut this guy off. Uh, let me actually go to that play. I want to show you guys that play as well. All right, guys, here's that play. Very similar play. You're going to see Colton right here. He needs to cut off number 95, Chris Jones. He needs to take a a huge step to his his right and he doesn't his helmet lands on the wrong side chris jones blows this play up this was third and one and we ended up kicking the field goal we had to settle right but if colton miller didn't take this false step in which if you look at his feet it's not wide enough right uh, he he needs to get further this way and his helmet needs to land on the inside of chris jones chris jones does a good job to kind of turn his body a little bit but um, I'm going to go back to the other play and then show you how Colton Miller actually blocked it correctly. Uh, so let me switch back. All right, guys. So switching back to the play, you're going to see Colton Miller. Very similar block. Of course, we won't have a fullback in. It's a little bit wide of their teams. Maybe not uh, as close to stop the run. But Colton has the same block, right? He has to cut this guy off. And this time, he's able to cut him off. And he gets in front of him, and then he just falls, as you guys see right there. He falls right in front of the guy. And this is important in these zone blocking schemes because th these create these cutback lanes. Right now, uh, if you just look at the screen right here where it's paused, Josh Jacobs can go right here, which is between Trent Brown and, and Rodney Hudson. And then he can go uh, he can go to the left of Denzel Good. He can go to the right of Good. He can even cut it even further this way and go to the outside of uh, the receivers blocking out here. Or instead of going through this gap, he can already cut it back to the left. If he cuts it to the left, he has some gaps over here that he can go through as well. And as you guys are going to see, as the play kind of starts, he goes to the right, he goes to the right, and then he cuts it back. Right, that vision right there to see that play that's huge that's a huge 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 asset to have but again you see jordan debbie number 65 the left guard get to the linebacker cut him and get him to the ground again i, I could not speak volumes to this play by the offensive line in general trent brown does a good job as well let's move on i know this is a trent brown video but these offensive linemen pump me the hell up so <laughs> let's get back into this you know, at this point of the video, I feel like I'm just showing you guys the same place. But here's Trent Brown, once again, going to just flat dominate and push his guy way far out here and just drive him. Again, eight yards on this freaking one play, man. These are the types of things I really like. And this is why upgrading from uh, Brandon Parker up to Trent Brown was such a big deal. is because these running lanes are just humongous now compared to last year. All right, guys, I want to show you guys this play right here. Third and two power block by the offensive line. This is big boy football. The Oakland Raiders are going to just line up and run right, right to this Kansas City Chiefs defense. You're going to see Trent Brown just take his guy and just drive. I mean, this is a very hard block because they're in the dirt. But Trent Brown does a good job walking up, moving his feet, and just driving. Driving, 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 pushing, and eventually he gets the uh, defensive lineman going back about one to two yards, which is great. Third and two, what do we do on third and two? We're not going to throw it deep. We're not going to play action, and we're not going to get in shotgun. We're going to run it right down the middle of the defense, and we're going to pound the ball. And that's where this team needs to build, and that's where they need to continue developing. Just pound the ball and make it happen. All right, you guys, I'm going to show you guys this last play right here. This is the Derek Carr interception in which a lot of people, as myself, felt that uh, maybe this was a defensive pass interference. Some say maybe not because it was within, uh, I think it's a three-yard buffer. You can hit someone. 
Um, I think it was, but Trent Brown, this is his last play. He ends up getting hurt on this play. Now, if you watch Trent and you just keep an eye on him, I'll speed it up in real time. He's right there. I'll slow it down. He sees the interception. He's going to run full speed to make this tackle. Now, he's going to fall, and you're going to see that something just happened to his knee. And, you know, it's not like someone hit him hella hard or, or anything like that. He kind of just falls uh, right about there. He falls, right? And he ends up not coming back. He was actually done for, for the game. And uh, because of that play, you see it right there. He was limping the rest of the game or the rest of the day, sorry. And uh, he didn't come back, you know. So um, reports are he should be okay. You see it from the backside a little bit. Um, I'm not really sure what happened. Maybe it was just because, you know, 380 pounds falling on that knee. It could definitely be bad. But you know what? He should be back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. You know, I know this video is kind of just all over the place. I just went through a uh, play by play. Uh, keep in mind, there's probably at least 14 plays in which I didn't show you because Trent Brown pretty much just locked up and dominated. There was really no point in showing you guys. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with the game film breakdown.